Uh, Kaposi sarcoma is a low-grade vascular tumor that appear that um, involves massive proliferation of the endothelial cells that appears in skin, mucous membrane, uh, lymph nodes, and visceral organs, um, and it mainly affects people with compromised immune system. Kaposi sarcoma was first discovered by Viennese dermatologist Moritz Kaposi in 1872, but it was only recognized to be caused by HHV8 by Chang in 1994. HHV8 is a double-stranded DNA virus which contains about 81 potential coding regions that shows homology to human genes. A number of these genes are shown in HHV8 associated um, with tumors such as cyclin D gene. This gene uh, contains a CDK, um, a CDK6 or also known cyclin dependent kinase which will subsequently phosphorylate RB genes, which are tumor suppressant genes. Uh, therefore, um, uh, the, the cells which are infected by HHV8 uh, will uh, evade the G1 phase and it will proliferate and uh, grow instead of apoptosis. Uh, four different types of Kaposi sarcoma. Uh, they all have their independent history and different prognosis. The first one is classic KS. Um, it is it's non-aggressive type, it is seen in men older than 50 years old and usually in regions like Mediterranean and Eastern Europe. Uh, it affects uh, lower extremities and the patches appear bluish black and they can develop to nodules. The second type is AIDS related Kaposi sarcoma. This is a very aggressive type that can affect head, back, trunk, uh, neck and mucus. Uh, the lesions are usually red-purple and the patches can quickly develop to nodules that can affect lymph nodes. Um, the third uh, type is endemic Kaposi sarcoma and this is seen uh, in Africa. There is two subtypes. The first one, lymphadenopathic KS, is seen in uh, children under 10 years old and the second one, the cutaneous KS, is seen in men between 20 and 50 years old. This endemic Kaposi sarcoma is not uh, related to HIV. The last one is hydrogenic Kaposi sarcoma, and this is due to um, immunosuppressive drugs like NSAIDs and steroids that are used to um, suppress the immune system during uh, transplantation. These drugs are going to um, suppress the host immune system and then uh, HHV8 is going to enter a host immune system and uh, proliferate to become KS. Here we can see the classical KS. Uh, we can see the bluish black uh, patches. This is the AIDS related KS. We can see the red purple uh, patches becoming nodules very quickly. This is the endemic. This is very aggressive because it affects skin very extensively. And this is the hydrogenic KS. We can see the red purple patches again. The primary signs of Kaposi sarcoma is one or more obstacle lesions in different shapes, sizes, and colors, most commonly on skin and lips. The lesions appear to be flat, painless, and not itchy and don't drain as new lesions. They can ensure in different colors, black spots on dark skin and red purple, purple on white skin. The lesions development varies between different people. In some, it grows, changes slowly, but in others, first spots can, could emerge every week. Other symptoms of sign of the Kaposi sarcoma include difficulty um, eating, swelling, and abdominal pain and vomiting. There are three different ways of transmission of Kaposi sarcoma. The first one I'll be talking about is Kaposi sarcoma's through sexual transmission. It plays a significant role in the increase of Kaposi sarcoma spread among the homosexual men due to transmission of HHV-8 infection. Studies found various risk factors related to occurrence of the Kaposi sarcoma transmission, sexual transmission, history of sexual intercourse with partner diagnosed with Kaposi sarcoma. And the next one is transmission of Kaposi sarcoma in childhood. In Kaposi sarcoma associated herpes um, virus in childhood shows to be accountable for much of the extent of KSHV. Two different studies for, from 
Cameroon and Uganda was found that Kaposi sarcoma was low in children under the age of two due to subsequent disappearance of the of maternal antibodies of Kaposi sarcoma through organ transplantation. During organ transplantations, infecting with KSHV infection could occur due to immunosuppressive medication used to weaken the immune system, the ability to reject the transplantation transplanted organ. However, in most endemic countries, most patients are thought to be infected with Kaposi sarcoma before organ transplantation. It is also suggested that Black African, Caribbean, and Mediterranean origin are more prone to be infected with Kaposi sarcoma after organ transplantation. Sarcoma is caused by Kaposi associated herpes virus. The, vir the virus is also known as the human herpes virus type A. When a person is infected with Kaposi sarcoma herpes virus, the cells that line the blood and the lymphatic vessels are infected. This causes the cells to bring genes into themselves, resulting in the cells dividing more than, they, than normal and the cells are able to live longer than they should. These types of changes may eventually turn into cancerous cells. When a person is infected with Kaposi sarcoma virus, they will, not, they will often never show any symptoms. But being infected alone does not lead to Kaposi sarcoma. Most people who develop Kaposi sarcoma have weakened immune systems due to HIV, organ transplantation, older age or some other factor. The risk factors of Kaposi sarcoma is gender. Men have a higher risk of getting Kaposi sarcoma, as well as ethnicity. Uh, people of the Jewish or Mediterranean or African descent have a higher risk of developing Kaposi sarcoma. Sexual activity. Homosexual men have higher risk of, of getting the infection. And immunodeficiency. People who have AIDS and other people who have weakened immune systems due to organ transplantation have a higher risk of getting, developing Kaposi sarcoma. For a person to lower their own risk of Kaposi sarcoma, they should avoid the known risk of AIDS or HIV infection, such as unprotected sex and sharing IV needles. There are several methods to diagnose uh, Kaposi sarcoma, but all depends on the symptoms and the severity of the disease and the type of the disease. But the first and the most common way of diagnosis is biopsy when the lesion is visible on the skin. But if the patient suffering from a lesion inside internal organs, for example, patients suffer from respiratory symptoms, bronchoscopy will be carried out to observe various in passage. But if the patient suffer from uh, digestive symptoms, endoscopy will be carried out to investigate any problem inside the digestive system. Other internal affected area like lymph nodes and lung problem can be diagnosed by CT scan and MRI. HHVE8 uh, enters into lymphocyte via macrophionosomes where it remains in latent state. Uh, this virus upregulates a gene product such as latency associated nuclear antigen, also known as LANA1, which helps uh, this virus to develop a variety of mechanisms to evade uh, the immu uh, host immune system. And despite these changes um, to HHV8, it remains insufficient to cause Kaposi sarcoma. So there has to be some sort of immune dysfunctioning, um, for example, in, uh, in AIDS, where the patient would have a low level of CD4 um, antibodies uh, or CD4 levels. And once the CD4 level is uh, low, the virus starts to replicate. Um, the viral DNA tethers to the host's um, cellular chromosome, uh, which will inhibit P53, which is a tumor suppressor gene. And thus, um, Kaposi sarcoma is regarded as a malignant neoplasia. Um, the cancerous cells elongate, and these are known as spindle, spindle cells, which uh, form slits containing red blood cells. As the tumor is highly vascular, um, contains abnormally dense and irregular blood vessels, this causes the red, vessels, uh, red blood uh, cells to leak into the surrounding tissue and it gives the tumor its dark color. About the treatment, Kaposi sarcoma can be treated by different methods, but all depends on the type and severity of the disease, like diagnosis. 
Usually, a team of specialists analyze the symptoms and severity of the disease to determine the best treatment for the patient. It depends on the area of the disease. If it's about skin, surgery, cryotherapy, and retunic acid gel might be done. But it's about internal organs and whole the body, chemotherapy, radiotherapy, and immunotherapy would be done to treat the disease. It can be transmitted through unprotected sex. In order to reduce the risk of transmission, it's always important to have protective sex. Also, HIV can be caught through um, contaminated needles. So this is done by sharing um, needles between individuals. So in order to prevent um, HIV transmission, you should always um, try not to share needles within individuals. Okay. Um, Another way you can get infected by HIV is through um, HIV vector mothers. So they could pass it on to their babies and it could, they could pass it on during birth and also breastfeeding. So in order to prevent this is to use an anti-HIV drug. During the 1960s, Kaposis sarcoma was originally known as an uncommon tumor towards Asian Mediterranean men and was later reported in African children. After AIDS outbreak in the 80s, Kaposis sarcoma became a subject of interest and in 1994 it was discovered the viral cause of this disease. SHV infection is most common in Sub-Saharan Africa with a seropositivity rates of greater than 50%, particularly prevalent in Mediterranean countries, so which is 20 to 30%, but much about 10% in Europe, Asia, and the US. 